sure I thought it was curtains for the boy that time. Not with Don handling that plane. I was sure he'd pull out of it. Look, he's heading back for Tangita. We're getting back to our anchorage. Oh, thank goodness for that. Thanks for a minute. I didn't think I'd be able to pull her out of it. I'll take over the controls. Do you feel all right? Sure. I'll bet Mike and Red were certainly surprised to see us pull out of that dive. What happened to the other plane? Crashed into the ocean and sank. I wonder if there's a chance that the other pilot... I don't think so. Don, look down there under the water. A submarine. The Scorpions? I'm sure of them. Are you going to warn the 620? Okay. The radio hasn't been installed in this plane. Fortunately, I don't have to. Red is taking the 620 into our anchorage now. I'm going to follow that sub. It may lead us to the Scorpion's secret sub base. It's headed for those rocks. It's going right into the rocks. Oh. So that's why we couldn't locate it. The Scorpion's secret sub base is underwater. But how do they get to it from the island? That's what we're going to find out. I'm going to get Blake's diving equipment and we'll see just where that submarine went. Did Jacqueline destroy Winslow's ship to 620 as I ordered? No, Master. The Z-40's plane was downed in a fight with Winslow. Winslow. That proves again Winslow is too smart for you and all the operators under you. I am tired of your alibi, M-22. I want action. One more failure like this, and you will suffer the scorpion sting. Listen carefully. There must be no mistakes. United States cruiser and transport ship carrying Marines are sailing for Tangita to operate under Winslow's command. They must not be allowed to reach the island. Work on the new naval base is going ahead at full speed. It must be stopped. This can only be accomplished by Winslow's capture and the destruction of the 620. Do you understand? Yes, Master. Then, obey my orders. Well, the Scorpion surely picks out tough jobs for us. Yeah, well, you heard what he said. We've got to stop that Marine transport and cruiser. The Z-40 can take care of that. Use your head. Winslow will undoubtedly send the 620 to convoy him in. Our submarine wouldn't have a chance against those two Navy ships. Yes, and Winslow will probably send commands by radio. Radio, that's it. If we had their secret codes, we could send them orders to go any place we wanted them to. Even around the North Reef. Into our secret minefield. Right. But we need those codes. I'll take calling the rest down to Blake's warehouse. We'll get Mr. Winslow's codes. See that you do. Mm -hmm. 
You're on the last of the figures from the 620, sir. Thanks, Chapman. Where's it? Look at this. It's all Greek to me, Don. You promised to explain it to me someday. All right, I'll explain it right now. Our problem was to locate the Scorpion's secret hideout by triangulation. Now, here is the 620, and here is our radio room. Both the ship and Chapman managed to intercept messages from that secret radio station. Now, through a complicated system of mathematics, we calculate the angle and the distance from the two known points. Then, drawing two lines, they intersect here. The North Reef. Why, Don, that's where the submarine disappeared. Right. And that proves the Scorpion's hideout is located right there. If Blake has that diving equipment ready, I'm going right down to investigate. Oh, I know, but Don... Let's go into the other office. Chapman has some important work to do for me and shouldn't be disturbed. Oh, Misty. Well, what's all the excitement? Now, don't tell me you've discovered I'm the Scorpion. Be sensible. Don's discovered something really important. Well, what is it? I've located the Scorpion's hideout. And say that again. All set, Parsec. Okay, Spike. Where's Slade? Running back with Joe, waiting like you told him. Remember, Corley, we've got to get those code books. Don't worry. If they're in that safe, I'll get them. I've opened plenty of them before. Blake's crew gets the diving equipment ready. I'm looking over those rocks where the submarine disappeared. Looks like you found what we've been looking for. You have that. And we'll be closing in on that M-22 and the rest of his gang in no time at all. Commander, the diving outfit's loaded on the tug and we're waiting for you. Well, thanks, Blake. We'll start work immediately. I hope your discovery puts an end to the sabotage that's been holding up my construction work on the new naval base. Oh, there's no doubt of it. I'm going with you, Don. If you're doing any diving, I'm handling the air supply. And no doubt you'll be wanting the advice of a man of my experience. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, in here, quick! to you, Chapman. Oh, Miss Lewis, will you find the doctor and have him look after these men? All right, Don. Radio message, sir, from Captain Tilford. Cruiser, Eureka. And Marine Transport. Are due off Tangita. In three hours. Good. Tell him to stand by for further orders. Aye, aye, sir. Let's get aboard the tug and investigate those rocks and find out where the Scorpion submarine went. It's the latest type Navy equipment. They let me have it for my underwater work at the base. Couldn't ask for better. Let's get started. All right, Captain Neal, cast off. All right, cast off. Hello, 
Thanks, Mike. Doctor, fix you up all right? Yeah, Jim, thanks. I've got to get back to the mine and warn M-22 about Winslow locating the secret entrance to the sub-base. Yeah, but watch yourself. That's one of the men we were fighting in the radio room. Well, why don't we follow him? He might lead us to the Scorpion's hideout. Certainly would help Don. Well, what are we waiting for? Tell Mr. Merlin about it. He'll find him and turn him over to Don. Rocky, there's a couple of young women outside. They look like Winslow's friends. See if they don't snoop around. We just thought uh, we want to see Mr. Merlin. He isn't here right now, but you can wait in his office, right over there. Thank you. I told you to get those coat books. Our hands are tied without them. Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? Wait, go located at the underwater entrance to this cave. It was out there now with diving equipment investigating it. Corey, round up a couple of other men. Quick. Barsack, warn up this people. You're going to break up Winslow's little party. Over the top. Slide it over. All right, the bell. Hold it up. Well, Red, hope we find something. Sorry, Don, you look like a banshee. Sure, Mike, and I feel like one. Why, you... <laughs> You're all set, Don.
boys, preach! 